leave it all behind you I said take down everything that stands in your way Don't stop believing it'll work out again My friend Stand out and be a part of everything good Wake up, you're gonna be all that you should Try out all the things you always wanted to be You'll see Cause I know what I know That you've got it in you And I see that you are a winner My channel is maybe unfortunately to some people about reality. I don't have the technical or whatever prowess to create animation or a cool background, which I wish I did. I think it would be so cool to have shooting stars behind my head or prancing unicorns. <laughs> just something, just, you know, to take your eyes off me. But I don't. I don't have the, um, I don't have the program. I don't have the software. And what what is available for free, I can't figure out. I've tried to download, and I haven't been able to figure it out. So I could draw stick figures and hold them up and talk for the stick figures, but that's about as good as it would get with me. Or I could get myself a puppet. I've thought about doing this before. I could get a little puppet, talk to people with the puppet, you know? I like doing different voices. I could do that. But then I would have even more people tell me that, oh, you, you, you talk down to us. You know, I don't really try to talk down to anybody, but I do like doing different voices, and sometimes those different voices might sound like... I'm talking down to people, but I'm not really trying to do that. I'm just trying to be, well, I'm being myself, and who I am is a little, I'm, I've always been weird, and now that I'm older, the inhibitions only get less and less, because the older I get, the less I care what people think about me, which is kind of liberating, but anyway, um, I can't put up a false avatar and talk through it so people can be spared the horror, oh my god, of seeing my actual face. I can't do it. And I admire people who have the artistic talent that they can do that and spare their feelings, spare, spare themselves from being attacked and tw twitted about their looks, but I don't have that ability. So I get to hear things like, oh my god, you're an old, ugly cunt. Yeah, that's my favorite one. The old, ugly cunt insult. So original, isn't it? You know, if I were going to insult me, I would definitely be a little bit more creative. There's so much scope for the imagination of what you could say to insult me. You know? But people are pretty unoriginal when it comes to insulting people. And I've heard them all. I mean, I'm kind of getting old and by the time you're over 50 you've kind of heard them all and it's like whatever the fact of the matter is and this is harsh reality for some people and I guess it keep it might keep my subscriber number down because alas not everybody can deal with reality but here's the deal in the real world not everybody is a supermodel it's true. I know it's a surprise. It's a huge letdown for some people. Damn it. You mean I can't look at perfection every time I turn on my computer or my television? Well, shit. You know what? Here's the deal, though. If you don't, if you don't like it and if imperfections bother you, there are so many other channels on YouTube that you can just trundle off to and watch. You don't have to sit here and listen to my nasally voice or look at my imperfect old face. Which, you know, it wasn't perfect even when I was younger, but certainly it was a hindsight better than it is now. Age does not help people, you know, even beautiful people kind of go, Meh, as they get older. But then again, if you're, if you have more depth to you, you see past the, Meh, and you see the beauty. The eyes never change. The smile never changes. 
and the heart never changes. There's so much more to a person than the superficial. And if you're one of those people that have more to you, you would see that. But if you're a superficial person, you won't see that and you'll only be looking for beautiful, perfection, young, flawless. Well, hey, no, I haven't been flawless since the day I was born. It's impossible for me to be flawless with, it's right here, with this. The mole from hell. Yes, it haunts me. <laughs> Actually, I looked into having it removed when I was younger because I hate it. I, I do. I really do. But it was a choice between having the mole from hell or having a crater in my face, which would not be really that much better. What would I do every morning? Fill the crater with epoxy and then put makeup over it? <laughs> you know, I mean, no matter what I did, I would have this problem, this flaw. And it's not just the mole. I mean, I just don't have the bone structure to be a beautiful person. I just don't have the right genes. And that's the thing, you don't have a choice. And I feel sorry for people who who require beauty to, and and I guess you know just whatever perfection, in order to be able to stand listening to them or looking at them, because that isn't what the real world is. And too damn bad, you know. So anyway, the point of this video is I am not going to be able to replace my sad pathetic excuse for a face with some clever animation. I wish I could because I think it's a really good idea. I have actually looked at puppets. There's a pet store that I go to called Bridges and they have a whole bunch of puppets. And I've thought about having a puppet and having and talking through it, but oh my god, how boring would that get? And people would probably my subscribers would actually go away, I'm thinking, because most of my subscribers are not two years old. But in the end I'm like my life, my whole life has been about fake. Everything's been fake. My friendships, people I thought loved me, everything has been fake. And I, I'm kind of excited about reality. I think reality rocks. And I like the fact that people, I mean, I don't know why people subscribe to me. I really don't. But I like the idea that maybe other people can appreciate reality too and see value in somebody besides just how they look or how young they are or how perfect they are. So I'm going to continue flaunting my, my very plain mug on my videos and be myself and if people don't like who I am well they can go away. It's fine. I don't have to have a hundred million subscribers. I, I went a really long time under a hundred. I don't even know what happened. One day I was, I mean I went years like that and then one day I had more. Um, and I'm grateful for the people that hang out and, and give me the time of day. But I'm not going to change, I'm not going to put somebody else up because I am no longer perfect, ever was perfect. Maybe, I don't know, I don't care. People want to call me an ugly cunt? Fine. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I just most of the time I just delete that and I remove that person from the from being able to see my videos because I don't need to hear it. It's not it's not adding to the conversation in any way. So I just get rid of that. It's like okay, if that's the mentality you want to bring to my channel, you can go elsewhere and put that on somebody else's page. I don't have to hear it. You know, the fact that I'm not gorgeous it's fine with me. I wish I was, but I'm not, but I am learning to love myself anyway. And I still dare to think that I have some value as a human being. And that what I think, you know, I don't care if people agree with me or disagree. It doesn't matter. I still think that I have a right to say what I think about things, and that's basically all this channel's about. That in reality, which I think is awesome. I think people rock. I think people should not be ashamed of what they look like, no matter what they look like. Because there's only one person on this whole world that looks like you. And I think the best part about living on this planet is the variety. And I think that's what makes this world beautiful. 
that everybody doesn't look the same. Okay, this is getting long and I still only have a 15 minute limit, so that's what I wanted to say. You guys are stuck with the face. And again, if you don't like it, you don't have to stay. But if you do, if, you hang, if you're okay with it, you hang out, I appreciate you. And I appreciate that you um, <laughs> come to my channel and watch my videos. I think that's really nice and really cool and I, I'm grateful. And now I'm starting to ramble, so I'm going to end this. If you've been watching, thanks. Bye. I am uh, absolutely convinced that the main source of hatred in the world is religion. And I think it should be religion treated with ridicule and hatred and contempt. Share the same.